So I'm ready. You ready? Yep, there we go. And then the car's driving itself. Simple as that. Hi guys, this is Danish here from Gulf News. We're here at the Dubai World Congress for self-driving transport. We're about to check out uh, the Jaguar I-PACE. Now, this is, is a custom-made uh, car right now that they have created uh, just to show us what autonomous driving in Dubai would be like. So come check it out. We are Jaguar Land Rover. Yeah. Um, and this is our very first autonomous I-PACE, all electric vehicle. Um, we've developed it for this event, uh, for this route that we're working on. We've been working on this particular vehicle for about three months. We have taken, if you look at the screen, a completely standard eye pace. Um, that comes with the front radar, rear radars, uh, and the front camera. That gives us certain standard um, like ADAS features, so safety features, uh, autonomous emergency braking, so it will brake automatically should you be almost about to get into a collision. It's the camera up behind the rear view mirror, that sole job is to look up for traffic lights uh, and classify them and decide whether they're red or green or not. A particularly good thing about being over here is your traffic lights, they're excellent, they're very bright, very clear, uh, and it makes our system easier to work with, it classifies traffic lights easier here. So I'm ready. Are you ready? On. Yep, there we go. And then the car's driving itself. Simple as that. <laughs> um, so there's two distinct roles in the car. There's me behind the wheel, which is the safety driver. Uh, I'm here to regain control of the car if anything should go wrong. Obviously this is a prototype. Um, Alan's in the car because he's controlling and looking at the autonomous software that's controlling the car now. So I'm in control of the, the main car. Alan's in control of the autonomous software that's now driving the car. Um, so two very distinct roles. If I need to, I can regain control of the car at any point in time. I can press the brake and the car will slow down or even stop. Um, I can also accelerate. That's all while the car is still in autonomous mode. Um, I can also grab the steering wheel, but the autonomy will drop out if I do that. And I'll have to, or Alan will have to re-engage the autonomous system to make that work. But what we do have is a manual button, which means at any point in time, if there's some debris in the road, I want to drive around or something, I can go manual drive around it, back onto the route, and then go back to autonomous, any point in time along the route. So the car's now slowing down for the speed hump. As Alan has already said, um, we've created a high definition map. So all self-driving cars will need a high definition map at some point. Um, we have to create it ourselves at the moment because we can't buy it off the shelf from anybody. So we've already been over here and mapped things like the speed bumps, as we were just saying, the traffic lights that have come up ahead. Um, not only the traffic light itself, but where the car should stop. So the stop in position for the traffic light as well. So you'll see as we get to the screen in a minute, it will change. You see the traffic lights, and it will see it has the traffic light in red, uh, and it will uh, show. There you go. Yeah. So again, with the high definition side, it's also showing where which lane the car is going to go into. Because in Dubai, you have uh, many lane roads, and it could be three lanes could all go left, three lanes could go right or straight on. So you also need to know which, which direction each lane can go, so the car can know which lane to get into to know where it's going. So the lights are changed, we're about to go off, the car's moved away. There we go. So again, the arrows and lights have changed green on the screen, now it's appears we've gone past it, which shows the car driving around the junction. And then we'll speed up to the speed limit on this road, which is 80 kph, just slow that car a little bit. There we go. Car, slowing down for the car. So if there's no vehicles in front, obviously we'd stop at the front of the traffic lights because of our vehicles we pace off them accordingly. Um, and when the lights change, exactly the same. If the light were at the front, we would decide based on the colour of the light. Because we're not, we use the colour of the light and the vehicle at the front. So this is the camera here, the traffic light recognition camera. It's looking at all of the traffic lights it can see ahead. And then you can see which are red. It's using the closest ones that are in the centre of the screen to determine whether it's the right light to change or green. So let's just move forward because he moved forward. So this is our first time ever developing a, an all-electric vehicle for self-driving. Um, well, that's one of the main challenges because all our other vehicles we've done it with have an engine and gearbox. So changing gear was what was uh, needed before, but with this one we don't need to. It's all about the refinement uh, with the motor, making sure accelerating feel it can accelerate quite quickly. So to try and make it as smooth as possible for the passengers is the number one goal. Smooth and safe is all the uh, what we're trying to achieve. 
There we go now, we'll just uh, indicate to go across, pull into the trade centre. To a stop at the end, there'll be a bit of a message on the screen, and then uh, it'll end. You see the steering wheel drop back out, and be handed back <laughs> So, we just checked out the Jaguar I Pace, and it's um, well, the self driving version. Very cool to see. We had a short little drive where we went past uh, signals, we went on a speed breaker, we saw acceleration and deceleration, we saw it curve itself and come into a spot for parking. Very, very exciting for, um, for the UAE. Um, I really hope to see autonomous driving soon. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.